Welcome to Job Form. My name is George, and today I'm going to show you how to limit dates in your form. This could be really useful for several reasons. Some of them could be that you want to disable holidays, you want to disable certain day ranges, or many other use cases that you could do with limit dates. So follow me to my desktop to show you how right now. All right, this is our testing form, so let's get started. Let's go into our form elements, go and drag in date picker. We're going to click on the gear icon for properties and we're going to go into limits. This is where all the limits are going to take place. So for example, if we want to start with age verification, we can do so by activating it. For example, if you want to allow only 13 and over, you can do it by selecting the age right here. So for example, if you want to make this 18 and over, 21 and over, okay. What if we want to disable past or future dates? So for example, do we want to keep these enabled? Can users select past dates? Can they select future dates? If we have this enabled, they can, okay? If we disable this, they will only be able to select future dates, okay? Next thing we have is days of the week. Do we want to disable weekends? Do we want to disable Monday? Any date that you want to disable by deselecting any of these. And then we have the start and end date. This is where we can actually select a specific date to start from. This could be, for example, if you have a concert and the date ranges are like over such date that you don't want them to select previous dates. For example, let's just take, for example, July and they can only select from July 5th. All right. So the starting date that they can select is July 5th. And we can also set an end date. In this case, we'll select July 18th. All right. Let's just say that's the date range that we want to use. Let's go ahead and preview this test right now. Okay, this is our date picker. Let's head over to our calendar. We can see that these days are disabled, the past days. Let's go into July. And now we have enabled the 5th through the 18th, all right? So we can't select anything before the 5th or after the 18th because that's how we set it. You can see that right there. And we can select that, okay? Let's disable this. Another thing that we can do that's really cool with the start and end date is that we could say, for example, from today, plus seven days. Okay, let's go through this form. So whatever this, the date is, it could be in a month or two months or one year, it's still gonna work with seven days after. Any day that you select, it's gonna be seven days after. Let me show you this. So let's go into, today's the 28th. So let's go into July, and we could see that it's disabled seven days after the 28th. So for example, it's enabled after the fifth. So I can select fifth and over because that's how I selected. And if today was the 29th, it would jump over to the sixth after the 26th. That's where we can select the date. So it's pretty useful for certain use cases. Okay, let's get rid of this. Next thing we have is disable custom dates. This is really useful when you want to disable, for example, holidays, or in this case, we're going to disable my birthday. So for example, my birthday is nine. Well, for 2021, right? 2021. It's going to be 08, 31st. Okay, let's go ahead and preview this. Let's go into our calendar. Let's go into August. And you can see the 31st is disabled. So you can disable holidays, your birthday. And this could be, for example, a specific calendar that they want to use for scheduling or something like that. You don't want people to select that certain date. It could be a use case. And you can add as many as you want right here by each, putting each one in each line, okay? Next thing we have is disable date range. So for example, this could be really useful when you want to disable. In this case, we'll give you this example, right? In this case, what we're saying is that people cannot select, for example, um, 1901, for example, or the year 1000, something like that. You could disable all of those and they could only select from 2000 and over. Let me show you how that looks. Maybe form. Let's go into our calendar and let's go oh, way back, for example. So that's through 2001, we can select, all right? Then we go 2000, we can select, but 1999, we can't select. So we can't select any date before that. Um, this could be useful when you want users not to select those kind of dates because basically that's not something you need. Or if this were a history quiz, then you would have those enabled. It's just an example I could give you out there. Well, basically, that is how you limit the dates in your job form. Well, we thank you all for watching and we'll see you on our next tutorials.